The Giant 2.0 update for Elgato Camera Hub has arrived with upgraded voice sync, professional level image control through LUT filters, new Stream Deck actions, and more. Let's dive in. First up, camera LUTs. LUT stands for Look Up Table. In essence, these are filters applied to your camera to change saturation, contrast, or even shift colors in creative ways to match film or your favorite movie looks. LUTs show up in a new section on the Effects tab under the background replacements. Camera LUTs work with cameras such as Facecam Mark II, Facecam Neo, and even CamLink 4K, or your professional DSLR or mirrorless camera. We'll have a full list of supported cameras down in the description. Are you curious about LUTs and want to learn more? Check out our full explainer of what LUTs are and what they can do linked in the description. To use these LUTs in combination with your camera in apps like OBS Studio, Zoom, or Discord, make sure you choose Elgato Virtual Camera from the list in those apps' video settings. And to coincide with these new camera LUTs, Camera Hub now has Marketplace integration. With this new integration, browse new image or video backgrounds or custom camera LUTs from Elgato or Community Makers and download them right into Camera Hub with one click. VoiceSync got a big tune-up with support for new languages and phrase-by-phrase -phrase highlighting. Instead of entire lines being highlighted, you will now see more granularity, often down to a few words while you read the script when using VoiceSync, meaning you'll know more precisely where you are when reading or presenting. We are also pleased to announce that VoiceSync supports even more languages, including Finnish, Greek, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Romanian, Russian, Swedish, Turkish, and Vietnamese. That brings the total languages supported by VoiceSync up to 18. New to VoiceSync? Learn more about how to use VoiceSync with our guide linked down below. Working on your prompter scripts and camera hub is now more dependable thanks to an automatic save system every minute. So if you happen to lose power, your last script update will be no more than one minute old. The Camera Hub plugin for Stream Deck also got an update with two new actions. First is a dedicated way to move a selected window or app to your prompter. No more needing to manually drag windows over. Select the app or window in the Window to Prompter action, tap the key, and it snaps over to your prompter's display. Tap it again to move that window back to where it was. Super handy. You can also change LUTs with your Stream Deck using the new LUT action. See the LUTs thumbnail right on the key and which one is active with a check mark. To receive this new Camera Hub plugin update, make sure that you are logged in to Marketplace in your Stream Deck app. Facecam Neo now has tint control through a firmware update. Previously, you had access to white balance to account for different lighting, and now with tint control, you can perfect the green and magenta balance of the image coming from your Facecam Neo. Now, tint control in combination with camera LUTs, your Facecam Neo has never looked better. To get tint control, make sure you've updated to Camera Hub 2.0, then you will need to perform a firmware update by going up into your camera settings and then starting the update process. Depending on your system, it can take a few minutes to complete. Camera Hub's video engine itself had improvements as well, with a faster startup time. This means a shorter time between launching the app and seeing your camera's preview. Those are just the high-level notes of this big update. For a full list of changes, we'll have the 2.0 release notes linked in the description. Which new feature is your favorite? Let us know down in the comments, along with any features you'd like to see in the future. We're always reading your feedback. Subscribe to us here on YouTube to learn more about Camera Hub and other Elgato products. Thanks for watching.